Hey, what's up? Jay Barino here, continuing my playthrough of StarCraft 1 Retribution, a StarCraft 1 expansion pack. Alright, the fifth mission for the Protoss campaign where heroes are made, the Terrans outnumber us, but your leadership will prevail. Sure. While you have been successful in devastating the Iridian defenders, our warriors elsewhere on Eridas have not had the benefit of your leadership. The Iridians have managed to slip reinforcements past our comrades, and the heavy contingent of Terran troops now lies between us and the Argus Stone. While the Council knows this is a daunting task, their instructions are to fight onward. The Terrans keeping us from the Argus Stone must be eliminated. This will be your fiercest battle yet. May Adun be with you. May Adun be with you. <laughs> Sure. Okay, bump up that game speed. Uh, large vertical map, so we're gonna be fighting our way up the uh, the vertical or the towards the top of the map. Destroy the Iridian defenders. Cool. Another kill. Kill everything. Let's do it. So we have two geysers here. I gotta lock my screen region there. Whoopsies. Don't want my mouse flying off the screen. We actually already have a large contingent of stuff here. I'm liking the look of this so far. We have a lot of stuff. We have a lot of stuff. Okay. Well, let's start some shields right now. We're just gonna. Start getting lots and lots of probes. That's all we're really gonna need, just lots and lots of probes. It's actually tempting to make a second nexus just to get more probes out. The fact that we have two geysers here, to me, sort of means don't expect to be expanding anytime soon. Let's take a scout and just sort of look around down here and here and here. We're just gonna make a big rectangle down on our side of the map just to look for anything else. Hopefully that scout doesn't die, but frankly, I don't use scouts very much. They're very expensive for a very, uh... They're very expensive for very low utility. They're very good anti-air, but otherwise they're kind of terrible, in my opinion. So, I mean, there are, there are a few uses of them. Oh, geez, we have a river. Don't tell me we're going to have to drop across the river. Okay, so let's continue just putting... Uh, let's just kind of get our gas saturated right now. Okay. Bunkers, there's a bridge. There's a bridge. So it kind of just seems like the Terrans have a blockade set up around the Argus crystal. Argus stone, I believe, is what we're what we're looking for here. And it looks like we have to cross those bridges. Uh, and we'll see if there's any other expansions down here. But I'm getting the feeling that, no, there will be no other bridges. Really just need a lot of probes to get going here. But we do have a lot of infrastructure set up. What I'd love to do is just get more... Uh, get more production set up. Get more of my... Uh, Get more of my upgrades going, and I mean, we should be able to do this pretty fast because we have a lot of these buildings set up. So really right now, the only holdup is probes. We have so many minerals here. We have a lot of minerals here. So I don't know how many probes is too many probes on minerals like this. I've been saying this. In StarCraft 1, it's hard for me to judge, like, how many how many workers is a good amount of workers. I'm really not sure, and I have no idea. Um, so... Maybe, maybe someone could share that with me. Um, I did have a viewer say they thought maybe I was making too many probes in the past. So I don't know. Um, I, don't, I don't know. I guess I need some sort of explanation on how many probes is the right amount of probes. As opposed to just like, ah, too many. I don't know. It's, it's really hard to tell. So uh, this could be a good reaver map to, to blast through bunkers. Reavers are very good for that. I'm going to assume that there's going to be tanks all over the place. I did do a lot of carriers last time and exclusively carriers. Maybe what we can do is do a more... Uh, well-rounded version of uh, of Protoss, where we make carriers, but we don't make so many car carriers where it's, like, lame and boring. Anyway, we got a lot of gas in both of these geysers, so they're both fully saturated now. We're mostly saturated now. We can uh, expand our, our cannons, maybe make a group of cannons right on top of the bridges, but then that would probably stop my ground units from getting through. So I'm going to say, let's go ahead and grab more forges. Let's do it on over here. Get level 2 plasma shields. Actually, we'll cancel that right now. I'd rather save my money until I get all these set up. I'll get another cybernetics core. We're going we're going really, really hard into how, into all of our upgrades. We're going to need a Templar archive. Get that now, actually, I think. Unless we already have it, but I didn't see one. Yeah, it doesn't look like it. Good job, cannons. You're doing well. We're going to want to get a few more of those. And eventually, we're going to be having some tanks come over here. But as long as they're on the bridge, we can run up with zealots. We're going to want zealot speed. We need dragoon range. And then from then on, we're just going to be getting our our plus ground, our plus ground here. But we're going to need more. We're just going to need more probes and better mineral income to kind of keep this up. Right now, they're attacking with very few amounts of things, so this should be fine. 
Make sure we bring observers, because we don't want to get murdered by spider mines, as we saw in the last mission I had pointed out. There were spider mines everywhere, so uh, let's avoid that. Let's get to Singularity Charge and Zealot Legs. Zealot Legs now. Even if I were to get another Nexus, maybe I could put it right up here. Just to allow me to make probes faster. And just have another place for my probes to to return minerals. I'd love if this if this area over here was open, I'd make another Nexus over here. And I could more easily uh, rally probes to it. Alrighty. Uh, storm, not really. I'm not a huge Storm fan unless it's against uh, enemies that are attacking you. It's a much better defensive spell when you're against AI. The enemy doesn't tend to clump up as much when you attack them, in my opinion. That may be wrong, but I'm... I feel okay about saying that right now. Okay, so we've got these set up. We've got uh, our other upgrades coming. Maybe what I could do, just because I was just kind of trash-talking scouts a little bit, is maybe make a group of scouts, use them to kind of focus down siege tanks. Carriers would, of course, be the better choice in that case, though. I don't know. Again, I kind of want to do a well-rounded force here. So, you know, we make some Archons to tank damage. We have some Zealots to run in from behind them to do some major damage. And then just a Zealot Dragoon bread and butter force. I mean, there's... It feels limiting in StarCraft 1. It feels like you don't have as many units. But there are a lot of units to choose from. So, I, we have a lot of probes now. I'm going to keep making a couple more. Um, but eventually, they're going to start going around to the back ends here. Which is what I want. You know, they, they need to be moving back in this direction. In fact, what I should do is also set up a, a bit of a pylon farm over here. Let's go ahead and get Scarab damage. I'm getting all of this stuff. Okay, pretty large force coming in here. Lots of, lots of wraiths. Holy crap! Why are there so many wraiths? Oh my word. <laughs> they really wanted that carrier. Well, hey, um, yeah, apparently scouts it is. Um, I will go ahead and get a fleet beacon now, though. Okay, great. And I think it's, you know, we get a couple reavers to help us defend. We're going to need more cannons and just more and more income. And I assume as we push up the map and we take out some of the Terran, we'll be able to hopefully uh, take one of their bases because right now, obviously, we're not well equipped enough to uh, just, I assume, not not be able to smash through the whole map. We're going to need probably another base eventually. Okay, so that's done. Pylons are good. What's going on over here? Everybody move on up here. So it kind of seems like blue has a big anti-air force, and purple has more of an anti-ground force. That's just the impression I got, just because firebats and vultures as opposed to marines and, and wraiths. Those are the big differences. Not big differences, but big enough that, you know, it's, it's noticeable. Uh, we're going to set up uh, groups of cannons. In fact, I might spread them out just a little bit. I don't know. No, I'm not going to. I'm just going to make groups of cannons. Just got to be on the lookout for when siege tanks come gonna make a line of cannons here. I'm gonna actually get rid of this middle one so that we can be shooting scarabs through the middle. Okay, that's just about done. Let's get... I'd like to get all of these upgrades for all of this stuff. Okay, and one more cannon right here. This side is well defended. This side over here, you know, can use some, some beefing up. Okay, upgrades finishing up. This is good, and we're just gonna wait for some money so we can get our, our plus two of everything here. All right, really, it's tempting to get another Nexus. It's expensive, but it might pay off just by having it closer. Like, we could make it here. Nah, I don't think so. I guess, nah, probably not. Okay, uh, these are looking good. Let's get plus two everything. Will we have enough to get shields? We will. Plus three shields is 400, 400. That's crazy talk to me. So we need to keep the the zealots sort of in the front. We're going to hotkey my reavers separately so that I can make scarabs. We're going to need a lot of mineral income to sustain uh, scarab production. That's the only thing about reavers. You don't want to make too many. They're such good units, but you don't want to make too many because of, you know, you're very much hamstrung by by um, the reaver, or the, the scarab production, rather. Seems like an, an interesting map just because of the layout of it. Um, we'll have to see what else is on this map, but it looks like we're going to have to be, like, peeling through, like, peeling away at the the Terran layers of defense. Okay, we already have siege tanks. Move on in there. This is what you are for. Zealots. Okay, looks like we have uh, tanks over there, too. I mean, another thing we could do is just make, is once we get to 333, we just make a shit ton of zealots. And we just run them in like crazy. And I feel like that, honestly, might not be that bad of an idea. Okay, let's get uh, more of these. More and more tanks coming in, unfortunately. Get in there, Zealots. 
We're gonna need a lot of gateways. So make some more pylons. Here and here. I'd like to get moving as soon as possible. Once we can get one or two more carriers too, I think, uh, not enough money. Okay, that makes sense. And, you know, I don't want to spend too much money on, uh, on just defense. We need to be able to move out with what we have here pretty soon. We have a lot of gas, so once we get some of these, uh, these gateways set up, we'll be able to start throwing out, or getting out some, uh, High Templar. Quite a decent amount of them, actually. That way we can get, uh... Archons and Archons should be able to push through tanks fairly easily though tanks. I believe um, They do more damage based on the size of units Everything does you know more or less damage based on the size of units and tanks do more against large I believe I believe which means they're going to destroy art They do more damage against Archons as opposed to what you would expect which is you know Significantly less against Archons because like in Starcraft 2 Archons are psionic. They're not biological. They're not armored so They take less damage I'm pretty sure, so I'm I'm not sure how that's gonna work out. Let's go ahead and get our plus scarabs. We're, I'm spending all my money. That's that's my goal right here. Is just spend all your money. It seems like storm. It's it's really tempting. Maybe I should just go with storm. There's so many bunkers over here. It's like I could lead with the reavers, but I think I really just need to run in there with a bunch of zealots. That I mean, they're gonna get chewed up. But zealots are they're very good, especially once you get their armor upgrades. So. Maybe if we can just save up and get our plus three, that might be the right choice. All right, give me another Archon. Give me another Archon. Okay, lots and lots of Archons. We're save I'm going to save my money so I can start plus three here pretty soon. 400 gas just for shields. Just for shields. But we're going to want shields especially for these Archons. And then we can throw down some, uh, some shield batteries so that we can keep them alive. You know, any of them that do survive, we want them to, uh, to be able to be healed for their shields. Okay. Looking good. And we want to make a little shield battery farm up here. We have money now. So we're going to make zealots. Zealots galore. You know, a couple dragoons here and there. And not enough money. That's okay. So, did I, did I not send a probe up here? I guess not. Okay, so all of you move on up in this direction. Next attack coming in. The enemy is 0, zero, zero. Okay, so I am getting hit by tank blasts across the way. We want we want these tanks to unseize and come towards me. We're gonna need observers. We have we have one observer, I think, unless it was killed. Uh, so we're that means we're going to need an observatory. So let's go ahead and throw that down. I hear us getting attacked by tanks somewhere. All right, stop, stop, stop. Carelessly losing stuff here because my units are running up. So all of you move over here, and over here. I think it's time. Let's go ahead and, and push across this bridge. We do have a decent amount of stuff, so let's move on over. Lead with the Zealots. Follow up with Zealots, too, because they can do a crap ton of damage. You scout or you're going to die. So we're stuck on a bridge. Okay, losing Archons, but these Archons are doing their job. They're pushing across. Scouts are going to block the way, unfortunately. If we can just get a foothold over here... Uh, oh my word, That's there are tons of tons and tons of tanks up there. We either need a lot of dragoons or a lot of air units. Okay, we're gonna get we're gonna back out. We we've cleared a foothold on the other side, but we're going to need to make either scouts or carriers to clean out clean out those units up top. So let's get a couple carriers, just a couple. Let's get some dragoons and dragoons. We're gonna rally them up here and more zealots. And zealots. So, is there a ramp up here? There is a ramp, so we could make zealots and just sort of run up there. Uh, it's just staying alive. And what we're going to need for that is probably plus three. We have enough to start plasma shields, which I'd like to do. We're running out of money already, which is not good. So, it's all about doing what we can with what we have. And I probably was a little too hasty with moving across that ramp, to be honest. Is there another ramp to go up? I'm just going to assume this is lined with tanks up there. Which makes this very, very hard. They're not cloaking, which means they don't have cloak researched yet. That's actually huge, and I kind of want to take advantage of that. Let's throw down a save, because I want to start pushing. Um, though I kind of need to take my carriers and do it. Let's queue up a couple scouts. And let's take these two carriers, and if we can... I'd like to... 
peck away at this missile turret and then move up here and start killing the tanks that are at the top there. If we can do that, then we have a route up to the top of this area, and we'll be in really, really good shape. Okay, good, good, good. We were EMP'd. You know what, I'm gonna back up. Use my shield batteries. I'm gonna need more shield batteries, too. Okay, you come on over here and get healed by this one. Okay, they do have enough energy to re to fully heal up my carriers, and I kind of want... We'll get a couple more scouts to rally them here. And we did upgrade our scouts to have sight range and speed, so I think that that'll be good. Let's get rid of this uh, missile turret here. We're going to get EMP'd again. Move away. Reavers doing their job. Doing their job. Good work. Those scouts, maybe we'll be able to chase down uh, the science vessels. This, uh, I mean, the the EMP is just, it's too good. It's one of those things. I think it's just way too good when you, you know, look back in retrospect at StarCraft 1. It just completely negates Protoss's semi-advantage of shields. It's not really an advantage, per se. It just, you know, it makes them comparable to Terran. And Terran just, oh, let me just eliminate those entirely. Awesome. Okay, good, and this is this is what we have to do. We have to get rid of these tanks up on the high ground. At least get few of a couple, and then we should be able to very easily run through here with the rest of our ground units. I'm um, pushing through this purple area first. Get rid of this one, and I'm assuming there's more. Yeah, there's one more. Okay, let's back up. We can help get rid of these, uh, these buildings as well so that our units can push through. I'm just going to attack like normal. Back up, carrier. Don't take too much hull damage. I'd like to just get rid of this last tank, too, just to kind of open up some space here. Let's. We need more pylons. We're not quite there yet to uh, be able to max out at 200. We don't have good gas income, which is going to hamstring us just a tiny, tiny bit. Lots of fire bats coming in. Again, it seems like purple is very much anti-ground. Anti okay, get rid of this last tank, and then we're going to move in with ground forces and start clearing out this. It looks like there's the, there's a Terran base up there. The sooner we can start clearing this out, the better. Let's get back, and let's start building more pylons just everywhere. And we're going to need some cannons over here, too, apparently. Let's increase obser uh, observer sight range. We're definitely going to need that. Got these scouts coming out. And we're going to build some photon cannons over here, too, because they do like sending wraiths in this general vicinity. So I do have to individually build these. You cannot shift queue up with probes. Shift queuing does exist in StarCraft 1, but you can't do it with probes warping in buildings for some reason. I don't get it. I didn't make the rules. Um, we have a lot of money saved up, so I'm feeling pretty comfortable right now. These shield batteries, utilizing the shield batteries is quite nice. Let's build, rebuild our scarabs. Get more... Uh, all right, there we go. Uh, get more uh, Archons. Archons still going to help us push through. Uh, they're 333. That's going to be great. Battle cruisers coming in. Where is our observer? Now they have cloak. Okay, and let's come on up here. We're going to have to make some photon cannons. So let's go ahead and start pushing again up in this general area. Because now we know we can, and once we're on the high ground, we can push through all these tanks that are up there. It shouldn't be that big of a deal. Let's follow up with some of this stuff. Looks like they're going to try to nuke us. I should have expected this. Turn you into an Archon. And where is my Robo Facility? We need another Observer. We're going to bring it up over in this direction. And... Zealots, I need you to just push across this area. You're going to get hit by tanks. You're going to get hit by units. But we're on the high ground. We should be better protected from tanks, which is a big deal. They're getting kind of path blocked. They're getting kind of screwed up here. Okay, at the very least, if we can get rid of these tanks, then we should be able to much more easily attack through... The bunkers and such that are on the, that are on the other ends. Let's attack these, these, these. There was a mix between these and this. Okay, great. That went fine. We're not getting nuked, apparently. Oh my word, that is quite annoying. Scouts, carriers, move on over. Let's get a, a couple more carriers to help back me up. 
Uh, getting an Arbiter would probably be really, really nice. Okay, we still have an R Observer. Let's get a Gravitic, let's get Gravitic Boosters. More Zealots, more Zealots, 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 Zealots. Okay, I've uh, lost track of what's been happening over here and it's bad news. We're getting rid of bunkers though. So let's back up. Anybody that's still alive, back up. We need to get an Observer up here as soon as possible. Didn't I move one up here? Yes. Get on over here. Okay, get on in there. I'm gonna say, where are those wraiths going? Attack. I would like to get down here and start attacking into this base. So once we can move up with everybody else, turn into an Archon. Okay, they're sending wraiths in over here constantly, so I need to set up, uh... I think I'm gonna need more, uh, shield batteries, too. But I'm gonna set up cannons here to defend against wraiths, defend against battle cruisers, and we need to get rid of probably the purple base here before they start smashing through my stuff too quickly. And I need another base because I'm gonna need more gas, I'm gonna need more minerals. I mean, I'm looking good right now, but I'm gonna need more. Okay, so let's send everybody up in this direction, and we're gonna start pushing through the purple base. Uh, these poor Archons. Uh, we need- I'm gonna need more shield batteries, I think. Almost definitely I'd like more shield batteries just to help heal up faster. Especially my Archons. Okay. And... shield batteries... Shield batteries... The rest of you start pushing through this base. Of course there are spider mines. I don't think a single spider mine can take out zealots completely, though. As long as we have an observer here, we can kill these, uh, these wraiths. And we push through the first layer. We just need to kind of go all the way across. There's going to be more tanks over here, but just a couple. We've, it seems like we've done pretty good here. What? A, whoa, did you see those zealots fly across the screen? What was that? Okay, start backing up. Start backing up. Start backing up. We're not fully prepared for this. Yeah, sure. Get, let's get rid of this bunker if possible. Let's move across with everybody that's left, except the Archons. Except the Archons, I said. We need to... We need to heal these up a little bit. Okay, good. And let's get everybody up in this direction. Looks like my Zealots did a great job pushing through there. So let's... I'm bringing the Reavers, too. This might be a mistake. Okay, start pushing in this direction. Bring the Observer, too. Hold position. What I'd like to do is bring a probe up just to start building a base up here. I don't know what kind of base, but a base. We also have these carriers, and we had a, f we had a fleet of scouts. Let's bring all of this up. All of this up. We want to start pushing through this. We've lost... Oh, they have a lot of... We have, they have a lot of uh, tanks. Let's back up. Back up a little bit while we wait for our, our air reinforcements here. These will help a lot. Okay, this is fine. We need more Dragoons, I think. So strap in. This is going to be a bit of a longer one, it seems like. And I, well, what I wanted to do was bring up uh, a probe to make some shield batteries because our carriers uh, have been EMP'd. That's really cool. Okay, uh, I'm pretty sure we, we're, we pushed in. Let's get moving here. Our, our poor scouts need to not do what they're doing right now. Okay, and uh, we definitely have a solid foothold once we've moved the carriers up, so let's get going and let's start rallying up here. And here, zealots. Get a, Nah, scouts are too expensive and probably not worth it at this point anymore. Let's move up with this stuff. We have a... I would like to get this probe up here like I was saying. And we've got some power units up here finally. We've got the Reavers, we've got the Archons, and the carriers. You'll notice pretty much everything else is dead. Um, I'm gonna need another Observer, I think. We had one here. Observer, I need you to get up here as fast as possible, because I think there are Wraiths. There are indeed Wraiths. Good fucking job, Reavers. Keep pushing over in this direction. Our, uh, our Zealots really like, uh, getting crazy over in this direction. Alright, so, this area over here is gonna still need cleaned up, I think. Okay, interceptors are fine. And did my probe ever make it up here that I sent up here? I sent a probe over in this area, but I think it did not make it. 
Let's move up with all of this. More zealots here. And we oh, we're out of money. Uh, we need to cancel anything we have building because we're going to have to find another base and we're going to have to build a base. So we need probes coming up in this direction like now. And we need to find that other base. It looks like there's one up here. So if we can push through this this area, we should be fine. The only issue is we keep getting EMP'd and we're running out of money as we have to rebuild scarabs and such. So uh, don't, 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 don't. You stay back if possible. Wow, my units just love to get crazy. Okay, let's keep pushing with these carriers. I feel like this is all I can really do right now. What do you know, carriers? Okay, here come all my probes. And we've we've busted through a lot of their... A lot of their infrastructure. But I really need to take a base up here. As soon as possible, actually. Unfortunately, I don't have anything like mind control. Such that I could... Uh, I could easily take over these units. And I could repair my own stuff if I had access to SCVs. Unfortunately, that's not something that we have. Okay, and again, this area up here I'm a little scared to go to because there were still tanks up there, I believe. Okay, Archons and remaining units. Why don't you come on over here? I want you to start busting through this area. It seems like we've gotten rid of most of their units. All of our interceptors are still alive, so that's good. Spider mine, we lost one... Uh... Is there another tank? Oh, there's a tank up top. All right, don't go up there, don't go up there, don't go up there. Carriers, back up. If you can, kill this uh, science vessel. We have to get rid of the units that are up here. And then this one. And then this one. Kill it before it shoots. It got a shot off, that's okay. Okay, carriers, I need you to attack over here. All of you can move up as well. And I'm holding on just barely. I see a geyser up here. That might be a base that we can take as well. But right now, I need to take this. I need to take this area. So move up with these probes. And hopefully these carriers can kind of hold out for me as long as I need. Okay, so now let's build a base. Uh, move, please. I hear spider mines. I I don't know. I need to focus more on not dying right now. Back up, back up, back up, back up, back up. Goddamn spider mines. All right, dragoons, back up. Just let the carriers do their thing. We have a foothold. Again, I want to clear out the rest of all of this. Clear out the rest of all this. We'll be able to do it eventually, but right now we're kind of screwed. Not screwed, but I need to wait for this nexus. Okay, move up carriers and kill this science vessel before it gets away from me. It got away from me. Meanwhile, let's just keep cleaning up. That's what we have to do. Getting a group of photon cannons would be nice, but I can't really afford it right now. What I can do is make a pylon. Right there is fine. I don't have any other combat units back here, unfortunately. I'm gonna have to move. I'm gonna move up with all these probes. Um, come on up here. You'll find your way, I assume. Come on up here. We have a lot of gas. We could make archons. Archons will be the way to go once we clean out. Again, we're gonna clean out pretty much all of this. And once we do, all right, this is m more high ground up here. Ooh, minerals. Okay, this is good. Let's get rid of this area. Destroy this and destroy this. Nuclear launch. Don't be here. Don't be here. I don't see where it is, unfortunately. It's not here. Oh, it's right there. Fuck. All right, back up. The Nexus won't die. Okay. Get mining. And then all you probes, get on over here. Get mining. It's going to take you guys a while because you're dumb. Okay. And then, oh, back up, back up. I mean, if you guys want to kill these guys, I welcome you. Let's see if they can do it, though, is the question. 
I mean, plus three, three, three scouts still can do some good damage. Observer, move on up here so we can look out for when uh, we're gonna get nuked. Let's go ahead and take this gas. Make some cannons. Make some cannons. Make some cannons. Make some... Oh god. Oh god, back up. Scouts have a lot of health. We need uh, scarabs on our reavers, though. Okay, good, 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 good. Right, this is cleaned out. They're trying to build up here. Let's make a, a group of cannons up here where they're trying to drop behind us. This has been an intense... This, this has been cool. This has been one of the few really neat retribution maps, just because you have to fight again through layers and layers of Terran defenses, and it's very, very hard to get through all of it. Back up here. Accept you probe, make a pylon. Carriers, just keep attacking, and we want to take this base. Definitely want to take this base. We can use these carriers to finish up whatever what is left of blue over in this area. Okay, now, now we've got a crap ton of stuff, so we're gonna make High Templar, High Templar, High Templar, High Templar. Good, good, good. Let's be on the lookout for getting nuked. Make some more. Uh, that's. I need to leave a, a little space here. Get some more pylons. Just kind of all over the place. You guys, uh, I'm gonna wait. Again, I mostly just want to look out for tanks, and eventually my units might end up rallying through this stuff, so I want to get rid of this. Cool. And then I'm gonna take this, make this, uh, to make take this opportunity to make a bunch of shield batteries because they have been incredibly helpful. Make a pylon over here, because apparently we need to defend this. We have another base we can take up here. Okay. So attack this. No, there were no tanks left. That's good to know. Uh, attack down in this direction, and I'm going to grab a probe so I can take this base up here too. Got to have to secure as much income as possible. This is gonna be. This is the first like major macro mission of insurrection, and it's great. Um, it doesn't feel boring. The enemy attack waves are no joke. They attack from multiple directions. Anything can happen. So it's actually... It's reinvigorated me to, to play this, which is nice. Zealots, zealots. Okay. Um, good, 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 good. So you guys back on up. I might get a few more reavers. Now my, my offensive line has been moved up. Right, look out, High Templar. All my rally points have been screwed up. Let's throw down a couple cannons up here when they try to sneak stuff by. Still have our cannons down here. You guys turn into Archons. So what I'm going to do is rally on up here. I can't really tell very well on the minimap where I'm clicking, but I think this is where I want to rally. Here. Here. And here, okay, and then we again we've got this nexus set up, which hopefully is going to help immensely, immensely. Set up a couple cannons over in this direction for the errant units that they send. This will also protect my extra nexus that I have set up. So this is like one of the semi semi times I would have said like I want to cut, but this has just been like nonstop interesting action in my opinion. So I'm keeping this, I'm keeping it going. Back up. Let's go ahead and set up, uh, I guess, maybe a couple cannons over here, too. These three carriers, again, this is what I'm talking about. If you go mass carriers, we could have ended this a long time ago. But instead, you know, we've taken the time to uh, to make other stuff, keep it way more interesting as opposed to just blah. This would have been really, really blah. And in my opinion, now it's not. It could have been blah, it's not blah. And, we're, you know, we're still making progress. It's a little time-consuming, but I'm having a great time. I'd like to get another Reaver. The, the, the double Reaver for defense is quite good. Got the Archons we can help move up. And uh, it doesn't seem like we have another ramp to move up. This first ramp up here was the hardest area to move through, in my opinion. Now that we don't have to do that, this should be a lot easier. Hopefully. Didn't I say I wanted to make another Reaver? Make two more Reavers and rally them up. It seems like this next area, we just have to walk across a flat plain, so that shouldn't be too bad. Please stop EMPing me. I'd really appreciate it. Make a couple probes up here. We can transfer some probes because I think we have way too many here. Okay, come on up here. This seems like a much more mineral rich area actually, so uh, I'm comfortable with this. Okay, good job carriers. We have a lot of Archons and now we're just waiting for money. But we should be okay with money 
here once all these probes spread out properly and all that good stuff, so. Cool, cool, cool. All right, I was really nervous. I realized I was running out of money and I started panicking, but now I realize we're in better shape. Let's get one more carrier and just queue up a few more scouts. That air fleet actually did me well. Okay, we're gonna need a few more, a uh, few more cannons over here, apparently. And maybe one more right here. Cool. And keep getting these probes mining. I mean, I could take that gas. I don't think it's necessary. We we have one that's not even saturated right now. Are we building? Uh, we didn't. We're not really building anything right now. I really just think lots of dragoons and zealots at this point. If we're not pushing up a ramp or across bridges, dragoons and zealots are cost-effective and just fine. Okay, and uh, we're gonna need a new observer. That's for sure. So let's get uh, maybe a couple of them. Rally on up here. Okay, what's? Oh, this is just a reaver coming up. Coming up to support us. It's added to our reaver hotkey group. Move them up. We we do still have an observer. It doesn't seem like they're trying to nuke us anymore, luckily. Can set up some cannons over here, because they're trying to flank us over in this direction. What I'll probably end up doing is, uh... Sending out an attack force here soon after we, uh, throw down a save. That should be just fine. Keep mining. And then this up here has been untouched, luckily. So this is more of a natural expansion or what, what would be considered the natural expansion of this map, just because it, the enemy didn't wasn't mining from it. This, the enemy was mining from it. If you took too long, it's possible that the enemy could have mined it out, like, entirely. That would have been really bad. Okay, we have a lot of uh, Archons, too. So let's just make the Zealots, because the, the Archons and the Zealots, their melee, they're going to end up running in much further than my other units. So uh, I think I'd rather stick mostly with Zealots to run in with them. Meanwhile, the Dragoons will hang back and kind of support. All right, Scarabs, Scarabs. These Reavers have been immensely helpful, I think, in defense. Again, 10 minerals to kill two to three units at one time is, is quite good. Also, we can take these Reavers and probably start pecking away at the buildings. Let's do that, actually. We'll move up with the, the carriers as well. Interceptors is I. Just sit them on top of the Reavers and then follow up with my other units. I expected other stuff to come attack me, and they, they have not. Oh, God. Spider mines, of course. All right. Rebuild those, uh... Rebuild those scarabs. Keep building interceptors, and I'm gonna start pushing in. We gotta get rid of this, this production. Let's grab my archons and just go. I think it's... I think we can do this if we just go. I see their production where they're making marines and such. Get those zealots in there. We're just gonna start smashing through this base as fast as possible. There is a, a teal base that we're gonna want to get rid of as well. Okay, great, and then Observer, move on up. We want to be on the lookout for spider mines. All right, now we're going to start. We're going to cut over to the right. I hear tanks over here. Yes, multiple multiple tanks. So let's grab these units and start pushing over in this direction. They're unseizing. This is my opportunity to go. And this is, again, we're, we're breaking through and destroying a lot of their infrastructure. This is very, very, very good. I think we're going to have to kill everything again, just like the last mission. Archon's doing huge damage. Huge, huge, huge damage. Um, I did um, get rid of my Legacy the Confederation sound file, so it's not Varagoth anymore. Actually, a lot of people requested I keep it, but that was after I already removed it. So I, I apologize. All right, so purple won't be bothering us much anymore. Blue shouldn't be bothering us much anymore. We just got rid of uh, one of their science vessels. That'll be good. Uh, there's another base up here. There's their nuclear silo, too. Another ramp we're gonna have to push up into a teal base. Cool. Well, we'll worry about that later. I'm gonna get more scouts. They're very scouts are surprisingly tanky. My units are all very much spread out, but they're they're doing their job. Um, we're not in trouble right now. Let's move up this reaver. Add it to my reaver group. Start pushing up in this direction. Carriers, don't stop doing what you're doing. We're gonna use carriers to start pushing through this ridge, while my other units just finish up what they've been doing. So through here. So I'm pretty sure that everything is gone except for Teal, wherever Teal is. Did we lose a carrier? No, we didn't. I just don't know where it is right now. We have to consolidate. We have to reconsolidate up here and up here. And this this area over this guy, we got a lot of stuff here. So let's actually take these units and start pushing through up this ramp. There's actually an easy opening right here. 
That shouldn't be too bad. We also have units. We I see buildings over to the to the right. So I guess we just have to decide what we want to do. Let's let's take our uh, okay. Blue is out completely because his units have turned from blue to like the light faded blue. Lots of spider mines. You know what? I'm just gonna I'm just gonna start pushing into this base. My carriers can start can start breaking through this fortified area right here. I keep leaning closer to my microphone, so I'm probably getting louder every time I do that. I apologize. Um, Teal doesn't have cloak. This is great. So it seems like there's three uh, there's three uh, AI on this map, not just two, which uh, can be a little scary, I suppose. But we're doing okay. I'm, I'm gonna try to gather all of my extra units here and move them up. My Archon's doing fucking fantastic. They are doing great. We still have not found our way. We still have not found our way to, to where the, the Argus Crystal is. I just, oh my word. Oh my word. Uh, this is why I guess I started queuing up a bunch of scouts. Scouts uh, rally up here. Dragoons and Dragoons and Dragoons. It's time for Dragoons and uh, we can make a lot of High Templar too, actually. Okay, and now we're at another ridge, unfortunately. But holy crap, those that was so many uh, battle cruisers. Archons might not be that bad against battle cruisers. Kill this ghost before he cloaks. I think we have an observer with us, actually. Okay, we definitely made it to close to the end, at least. And our carriers did break through a lot of this, but not as much as would have been ideal. Where did those uh, battle Where did those battle cruisers go? Wait a minute. Is there no way through this? I think we're gonna have to make. I think we're gonna have to make all carriers and scouts at this point. So, that's cool. Let's throw down some uh, stargates up here. Oh, I lost my nexus here. Interesting. Where are these teal units coming from? There's another base over there. Okay, make scarabs. This base down here is the only important one, in my opinion, so we should be fine. Oh, no, 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 no. We didn't lose a, ne a nexus. There's, There should be a nexus up here that we can make, but I'm also sort of ready for this to be over, so I kind of want to just start pushing. We have to use air forces. Scouts actually are the right choice. Oh, this is where I was rallying. Okay, well, all of these units are wasteful. Um... They're dropping on me back here, but that's not a big deal. We just need to get lots and lots of air forces to start pushing over there. I might make some cuts to this. I don't know. I haven't decided yet. I've been commentating the whole thing, but we'll see if I decide to... to make cuts or not. This is a ridiculously large map. I mean, it's not large, but it's tedious. You have to fight your way across a bridge, then up a ramp, then through a base, then you have to drop. You have to. There's no option. Okay, so now it's time. Come on over here. And recall. Mmm, that's what I like. Okay, and then recall. Mmm, that's right. Okay, great. So you guys clump up. We didn't quite get the Reavers. We'll get them next time. I guess that that's what the uh, shuttles will be for as well. Come on up here. Let's make sure we send an observer over. You guys back up. We don't need to be cloaked. But we do need to we do need to start blasting our way through all this crap. Okay, scouts get on over there. Scouts move on over. Scouts just hit the battle cruisers. Please kill the turrets. Scouts are valuable. We don't want to lose them carelessly. Uh, Zealot, your job is to eat this spider mine. Cool. Good, good work. You did a good job. All right, they're not going to be able to nuke us anymore. And I'd say we've almost definitely done it. You know, the next time we can recall, we'll be in really good shape. All of you just attack, move across. And we've won. We did it. Okay. And now we're just waiting for energy, unfortunately. But uh, we'll see. Assuming the enemy doesn't have a huge amount in reserve. And they might. You know, I'm not going to discount them not having a lot more stuff. I feel like I'm not going to be able to do anything with these shuttles anyway. Let's move on over here. What's left? Observers really just wanted to make their way over here. Okay. So again, uh, tedious, but this mission I, I consider much more fun than the others. The others were just sort of bland and not challenging. This is at least challenging. Um, 
time consuming though. I'll probably, in, in retrospect, I probably will make some cuts. When I will do that, I don't know. Probably when we were waiting for the Arbiters to build and for their research and for them getting energy and all that stuff. That seems like it would be a good spot to cut. But honestly, the first part of this map was very action-packed. A lot was happening. We struggled for money for a section there. It's pretty good. I see a spider mine over there. Get him, get him probes. Get him probes. What's attacking us here? A battle cruiser. All right, Archon v. Battle Cruiser, uh, plus a cannon too. But the cannon is back up. This thing's definitely dead. Good work, and we've definitely won. We've definitely done it. How much do we honestly have to destroy? Literally everything. We've uncovered the whole map though, so I know that there's no buildings that could be hiding somewhere. I don't think. I think this refinery is it. All right, come on, don't don't do me dirty. It's doing me dirty. They're doing me dirty. They always do me dirty. I see, I see what we're missing. Scouts. Missile turret. Are you fucking kidding me? It's possible that red and blue didn't even need to be destroyed. It might have just been teal. Good lord. Okay, we did it. Long map. Actually, fun. Like, that was one of the most intense micro missions that I've, or macro missions that I've played. So, if I can beat that against three fairly challenging AI, I'm fairly certain I can probably do the rest of this. 53 minutes. Yeah, I'll probably trim this down just a tiny bit. Just a couple minutes I'll trim out. Alrighty, this has been Jay Barino. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye now.